Hi everyone, it's Kyle Trange on RV. And I'm Ty the RV Guy. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new XLR Micro Boost. Yeah, this is the new floor plan here. It's a 25RL. LE, yeah, that's the one. So first thing that we want to jump into with you guys on this is the overall length and weight. What you're looking at from pin to bumper on this is about 29 feet and a rough dry weight of around 5,200 pounds dry. So if you got that half ton truck, this is a toy hauler for you. Yeah, exactly. That's what the, the micros are really kind of catering to is bringing down a traditional toy hauler, making it shorter um, and not as wide and lighter so you can hit that half ton, put your quad in, bring your toys along, and you don't have to buy that big one ton diesel. Absolutely. Let's work our way over here now. And what we usually like to start off with with you guys at, uh, at the beginning of these videos is the construction. So going into the detail of construction on these XLRs, what you're gonna see in here is a full 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor. That's so important inside any toy hauler because of course, a lot of times you're putting your ATVs in here or whatever it may be, motorcycles, and you don't want that floor to start going soft on you like you get out of a chipboard or uh, OSB, that glue together stuff that always starts falling apart over the years. The other thing too that we'd love to mention is in behind this, uh, this uh, aluminum siding here is actually a 12 inch on center stud. So a lot of the comparables in, the, in this category, you're gonna see a 16 inch and some even do a 24 inch spacing in the wall. And you gotta think of it this way. This is a house that goes through an earthquake every single weekend that you take it out. So more structure, the better. Talk about some of the cool features here. Yeah, so on, uh, uh, sorry. on the outside out front here, you're gonna have your um, more ride solid uh, steps. So when you come in and out of the coach there, it's super sturdy. They just flip right inside. Yeah, they're really nice because of course you have a nice little clip here that holds them into place. Of course, they're adjustable legs on either side. So when you bring these out, even if you're on that unstable ground, you can always get a nice sturdy entry. They're a lot better than those flip out steps you see on a lot of other products there. They get rusted out full of gravel over the years and hard to use. Yeah, exactly. And then it takes away that low point because in a toy hauler, you might be getting off the beaten path. So you're not going to take out those steps. They're tucked away nicely. Absolutely. Something new this year too. They added, they put the LEDs on the side of your awning arms. So when you have your awning all the way out, it's more your campground and if you have that beam there sometimes the bugs like to it uh, are attracted to it and when you open the door they kind of sneak in there as well absolutely well we're kind of talking about that door too one of the things that you're going to notice here is xlr uses that beautiful friction hinge system so something like this can carry up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind so you're not worried about the door slamming on you possibly slamming on somebody's fingers and you know getting hurt so it's a nice little touch that xlr does for you definitely and then we'll check up up front see what we're doing you get a large pass-through storage. So this is under your bed, because this is a front queen up here. So full pass-through storage, tons of area to put all your gear in there. And then up front, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks. Power tongue jack, so it makes it super easy when you're hooking up and uh, taking it off your vehicle. And a nice little touch they're doing back here is they're adding a battery disconnect. So it's super easy to disconnect your battery, so nothing's uh, slowly draining the battery when you have it parked. Yeah, you don't have to take your batteries off anymore when you're done using your trailer, you just hit the switch. On that topic of construction again, guys, because this is an aluminum sided trailer, what a lot of times you see on the front here is that uh, corrugated paneling. What XLR does different is they actually give you this nice flat front and the reason why is because over the years of, uh, of use, this takes a lot of wind impact. So that those panels can start to separate. So now what XLR does is it's a dual plated front on here. So it's way more water resistant. Plus it's actually gonna allow your decals to stick on a lot longer, holding the look of your trailer too. Yeah, definitely. And then you got the nice checker plate rocker down here. So when you're towing, all the rocks flying up, aren't gonna damage your trailer. On the back side here, we're gonna touch on um, is some of your connections. You will have the standard feature of a black tank flush, which is great. So what that is, is a sprayer built into your black tank. So when you're done camping and you're at your dump station, you just hook a hose up here, sprays out the inside of your tank, leaving it a lot cleaner. It also cleans your sensors so you're always getting that accurate reading on the back there. Absolutely. So just underneath that black tank flush, like Kyle was mentioning, you actually have this nice little docking station. So it's perfect. It puts everything in kind of one spot for you for your uh, tank fill, your city water connection, and even has a cable satellite inlet here. Right beside that, you also have a detachable power cord. This doesn't seem like a big feature to have in your trailer, but the nice part about it is you don't have that big 25 foot or 30 foot cable that you're stuffing inside that trailer, using up all that wasted space. Um, another side of it too, is you don't have a hole on the inside of here too, so rodents can't easily access the interior of your trailer. Definitely. Uh, touching on the wheels here, um, it is a leaf spring axle system and they are pre-flipped from the manufacturer. So it's sitting a lot higher. You get that extra three to four inches of clearance. Again, if you're getting off that beaten path. On either side of the toy hauler, 
uh, will feature these airflow. So you pop these open when you have toys in the back there. It just allows for air to come through so you're not building up any gas fumes inside your trailer. Absolutely. Um, and back here you can see we got the VIP party deck set up. So in a small little toy hauler in this class, it's awesome to have this extra space. I've seen people back this toiler or this part up here to a lake, fish off of it. Uh, depending on your campsite, you're gonna have a nice view. Or if it's super muddy, um, you're out of the mud, still being able to enjoy the outdoors on it. Absolutely, yeah, it's a real, real co uh, cool feature to have. I mean, and it's well appointed too. You even have the blue LED light strip across the top there too. And just above that, you'll notice you're pre-wired for an outside camera here or a backup camera is what I should be calling it. So we do carry the camera here at Rangeland. So if you wanted to have that set up on this XLR, we can absolutely do that for you. Follow us around the front now. Um, we'll actually jump inside and talk about some of the cool features there. Um, as we're walking by, of course, you got the outside speakers, you got an outside uh, TV uh, set up here for you too. And of course, like we were mentioning before, that big power awning. So let's head inside now and talk about some of the cool features here. So jumping in on the inside, something uh, that people often look for in toy haulers is going to be the size of your garage because they're going to have certain toys that you want to accommodate. So the width here we have is 66 inches and right behind you there, um, all the way up to the fireplace is 14 feet long. So it is quite a big garage space in a 28 foot uh, model trailer. Absolutely, yeah. And even touching on that, like Kyle mentioned, there is a fireplace in this small toy hauler too. This is a great feature to have because of course, this is now a 5100 BTU electric dry heater. This will, or electric dry heater, sorry. Um, so this will actually heat up to about 400 square feet in about 15 minutes. So the nice part about that is if you're that shoulder season camper, you know, going in the spring or late fall, you're easily able to uh, heat up your trailer that much quicker now too. On the topic of your, of your actual storage space here too, one of the nice touches that XLR does for you is all of your tie downs in here are uh, strategically placed and of course the tie downs are now fixed down into the actual frame of the trailer so you're not be worried about them pulling up from the floor. Yeah definitely and behind here is this beautiful kitchen again in a smaller unit. Um, some small things to look for is going to be your um, wrapped membrane countertops there so there's no T-molding edging. You also have an undermounted stainless steel sink so very residential with your high-rise faucet so you're not sparing anything even though you are in a toy hauler category. Normally toy haulers you're, again you're getting off that beaten path you're not always hooked up to power so it is a gas and electric eight cubic foot RV refrigerator in here so you got the big fridge space and it's going to run off propane um, touching on the solar side, it is prepped for solar on the roof if you want to add those extra solar panels on there. Absolutely, yeah. And then of course, just finishing up in the kitchen here, guys, what you're gonna see is the Furion appliance collection. So this is nice because of course, you have the blue dials that really give it that modern touch to it. And it's all the black stainless look too. So again, very modern touch. Um, of course, glass front oven, you're gonna have a three burner cooktop with the tempered glass cover. So you're maximizing that counter space throughout the trailer. And above that, you have a range fan. Um, or range hood and even a microwave. <clears throat> but as we work our way towards the back here, you'll notice there's lots of storage up above. I like how they conveniently place uh, the netting here too. Works great if you have uh, like any boots or helmets and things like that. And then down along the sides, you'll see, of course, you'll have your dinette area. And these are great too, because you can actually just remove these cushions off the back very easily. And it turns into two separate bunk beds for you. Or you can even take this table bring it inside, set it on the actual brackets on the inside of here, and just turn this into one gigantic bed. Yeah, definitely. And then when you have your toys in here as well, this cushion comes off, and these just fold straight up against the wall and out of the way, so this turns into a big open area. Table being free floating, you can bring it in, out, super flexible. If you wanna bring it to your campsite, you have that option. But having this party deck area, it's really, it's almost doubling your um, actual indoor space in your camper is a nice feature absolutely and if you have a little dog and you're leaving for the day you can leave your dog out here still be outside get some fresh air uh, without have to worry about it getting too hot in the trailer which is nice yeah there is ac standard on here um, you just need to be plugged in ready to go for that guy yeah and the nice thing with the air conditioning and too is in a small toilet toy hauler like this it's actually still ducted throughout the trailer too so you're going to get that nice even climate control throughout your entire coach yeah. let's take them up to the front now and show them the bathroom and the actual bedroom here definitely and something you see in small toy haulers like this is an open concept where the bed is open to the garage part. But with this, you're getting some separation with the private bathroom and the queen up front there. Absolutely. So here, I'll let you guys follow Kyle into the bathroom there. First thing that you're gonna notice, of course, coming into here is you have a big corner glass door shower. 
So this is nice and tall for you too. Of course, it's gonna help keep that water fully contained in there, um, and it's very spacious. You got the uh, the skylight up above there, so if you're a taller person, you still have that headroom. And then of course, right beside it, you have a nice vanity there with an actual stainless steel sink. Lots of times you see plastic in the, in the, uh, in the bathrooms here, so this is a nice touch to have um, for the fit and finish side of things here too. Yeah, definitely. And then I'll finish off in the bedroom here, just in your little toilet closet area. You do have an extra vanity for storage. You never have too much storage in a small trailer. Up above you do have an air vent. And up front here you're gonna have your queen bed, um, USB charge ports on either side of the bed, and you have 110 outlets as well, so CPAP friendly, you can charge your devices, you're gonna have that capability. Hanging wardrobes on either side with an enclosed storage over top. Of course, now most trailers are all LED lights, um, but which is nice, you do have them on a switch too. Uh, so you're not always getting up and pressing the buttons on there too. Absolutely, and I mean, even on the topic of the cabinets here, guys, one of the things that we love to talk about, of course, going into fit and finish, these are all solid wood core cabinets here. Um, and then even up above, you'll notice they give you the cabinet doors there. It's a nice feature to have because some trailers actually just kind of give you the shelf above there. So it's kind of a unusable space, especially while this trailer is traveling. Yeah. Um, other little details, of course, you have pleated nightshades here too. Even in the back, you may have noticed it's got the full blackout snap-on blinds. So it's really nice if you have guests back there. But I mean, that pretty much wraps up this XLR here, guys. Um, if you do have any questions, make sure you reach out to us through our website, which is rangelandrv.com, or you can always give us a call. Anybody would be happy to take your phone call and answer some questions. Make sure you give us a call and ask us about our RV show pricing on right now. Again, I'm Ty, the RV guy. I'm Kyle with Rangeland up in Red Deer. And thanks for watching. And happy happy camping. camping.